All right, guys. All right. I know. I know. Been a long time coming. But here we are. So calm yourselves down, okay? Understand? I've been promising you guys this video since before I had grey hair. Which we all know has been an extremely long time. Nevertheless, I have picked out five of what I think are the best tips and tricks to take your builds to the next level. So make sure you let me know this style of video is something you would like to see more of. Appreciate you all being here. Love you guys loads. Let's get into the video. Okay guys, so we're starting off with angled corners. Now these are something that you'll see me use a lot of in my builds. The reason for that is that they're perfect for removing that Lego brick sort of cube look and replacing it with something that has a lot more shape and a lot more depth. So all you want to do here is just take out these three corner pieces. Get yourself a road barrier. Now you angle that on the point you want to go to. Rotate that three times and place. Another one next to it. And then from the other side, we take another row barrier, lay that down and place again. From there, what we want to do is take a foundation and take that from the point of each side and bring that into the middle. Okay, from there, what we can now do is remove the road barriers. So uh, we want to change that up in the customizer to concrete. There we go. And from there, we need to take our normal wall, line that up to the foundations. And there you have it guys, that is pretty much how you do the angled wall. I personally think this is a very simple but effective way to implement change into any existing cube looking factories that you may have. But that's the angled wall, now let's move on to the curved roads. So curved roads are what I base the foundation of my city builds around. Uh, keeping to that 90 degree angle, they're a really great way to bring multiple builds together while staying on the same grid. Okay guys, so what we want to do is we want to take our fix it foundation and we want to go from the first point of the road, stretching that out to 10 altogether. Now, what we want to do then is we want to remove the last foundation and put one underneath the position of where that was. Okay, and on top of that foundation, guys, what you want to do is you want to align a foundation and then holding control and mouse wheel, you want to turn that foundation in and place. Then you want to delete the foundation and repeat that process, but moving it one notch again to the left. Once again, remove the foundation, move it across to the left, and place. Now all you have to do is just repeat this process until you've gone the full 90 degree angle, which I'm going to show you, but I'll speed this up for the video's sake. Okay, next up guys, we just want to add the foundation, the 11th foundation across the top of the road, like so. The reason we don't go any further than 11 foundations is by the 12th foundation you do get a tiny little break in the foundation at the end. It is still doable, but if we add the 13th foundation, as you can see, the curve is now completely broken. So stay on 11 foundations, anywhere in between 
1 and 11 is going to be okay for you. So next up, what we need to do is get rid of all the excess foundation from the center. I am going to speed this up again. I don't want the video being too long for you guys. So I'll speed through this bit and we'll jump on to the next bit. So now we are left with just the curved road that we need. What we need to do now is we need to get our asphalt from the customizer tab. There we go. And paint the rest of these foundations. Okay, and now what I like to do personally, it's entirely down to yourselves, is I like to just add some edging to the road itself just by adding these walls here. Again, I'll speed this process up for the purpose of the video. Okay, last but not least, all we need to do now is go over to the customizer, straight to patterns, Find the pattern that we want, it could be any one that you desire, and just place that along the road. There you have it, a 90 degree curved road that allows you to snap back to the grid. Next up, we've got the angle pillars. Let's get into it. So angled concrete pillars are something I have taken a huge liking to recently. I found that replacing walls of buildings with this technique can again really break up that cube look and give brutalism that depth and shape it needs. Pretty straightforward one here. All we need to do is get ourselves a painted beam. Place that in your desired position. I usually put this on diagonal and then angle the beam where you need it to go to and place. From there you take your pillar and there you go. Very simple technique. As you can see here, all you have to do is just bring that pillar up, angle it, grab your painted beam, and then pillar on top. Very simple technique, very easy to do, but really, really effective to use. Like I say guys, I use this technique a lot when I want to break up that layout of certain builds when I want to replace that wall in with something kind of more firm and structured. Okay, so next up, possibly the biggest pet hate of the Satisfactory community is Z fighting. The credit for this one, however, has to go over to my good friend Stenarchi. If you guys haven't yet checked out his content or his channel, I'll leave a link in the description. I highly recommend you go over and check out his videos. So as far as the concept of z fighting, all we need to know is that it's just one foundation and against the other foundation for priority of who's going to sit on top. How we overcome this is by placing a concrete pillar here, removing that foundation and leveling that up with a second piece of concrete pillar. Now you can see that center line there. That is just the line that the foundation will initially come up to. But all we need to do is take the road barrier, lay that just over the top of that line. Now the barrier is set in place. All we have to do is remove the concrete pillars, take a foundation, line that with the barrier and place the foundation down. Remove the other foundation and match that up with that foundation. And from there, as you'll see that the Z fighting is no longer there. The reason for this is that we've raised the foundation with the barrier slightly above the other foundations behind it, which means that the Z fighting is now stopped. Now 
Last but not least, we have a really useful technique that I actually stumbled across by accident. This will help you align those otherwise annoying overlays that nobody really likes. So what we have here is the overhang on each side of the wall. We want to take out one side of the wall's overhang and we want to get our foundation, place that next to the wall that we're working on. Then we can take a concrete pillar. With the concrete pillar, we'll align that under the bit of wall that we're working on. This will then allow us to take a one meter wall and use a slide effect to bring that alignment to the angle we want it to. See that about there, we'll place that down. Remove the excess things you don't need and place your wall underneath. Exactly the same concept with the other side here. So we remove that out, concrete pillar down, align that to the wall we need to work on. Take your one meter, slide effect. Just check that angle out there and place your wall. Again, remove the excess stuff you don't need and place your wall underneath. If you're like me where everything needs to be spot on otherwise you can't sleep at night and this technique is a huge game changer to help you with those issues there you have it, everyone five techniques that hopefully will answer those questions you guys have been asking in the comments section i would also just like to add from the bottom of my heart guys that i really do appreciate every single one of you and without you guys showing the love whether that be through likes comments members or donations then i really wouldn't be able to wake up every day and do this so I really do appreciate it guys, thank you. Last but not least, if there is any other suggestions for any other video that you would like to see on this channel, then just let me know in the comments section down below. That being said guys, Happy New Year to you all, and I'll catch you all in the Discord.